if you want to call it that. And I forgive me for uh, my stuffed up nose. I've got a little bit of a cold, uh, sort of still in Ottawa, but uh, obviously going home on the 9th, which I'm very much looking forward to. And I think the crew is looking forward to it as well. Uh, not the least of which, uh, my buddy Joe, who I'm sure would like his apartment back. <laughs> anyway, so this is um, so this is fairly well documented, which I didn't know when I got it. I thought it might be interesting. I have to do a, a fair amount of drawing now, which I, I hadn't had to do since I, I worked in animation. Those of you that, that don't know, I uh, used to be an animator. I went to a, a well-known animation school. And uh, I'd worked at uh, at and with a number of animation studios, including some you probably have heard of or have watched on your TV, but that's another story for another day and for a different video. I'm a production guy now, and uh, but uh, I, I do still get called from time to time to do storyboards. I do have things that I have to do with clients. And I thought, well, you know what? I really could use a tablet, right? Because I have to go in the field a lot, and I, I have a lot of... Uh, documentation i often will get contracts in that from some of the broadcasters that we're doing shows for and most of the time i'm not a that was weird all right i'm still here apparently i apologize i for some reason i just lost the uh, the wi-fi just dropped out on my phone anyway uh, so hopefully it will not do that again i don't want to rotate the device i want to keep it like this all right, it's going to be an asshole. I don't want it like this. There we go. Thank you. So anyway, uh, before we were so rudely interrupted by the world of the Internet, um, I thought, well, you know what? I'll get a Surface Pro 4 as well. I was a couple of years old. I really did not want Windows 11, and so I decided to buy this on, like, on Kijiji. So there was a guy that had a, a used Surface Pro 4, and I uh, got a good price for it, so I thought I would go and buy it. And, of course, I checked to make sure it wasn't stolen and everything. And I wasn't expecting the world or anything. But I wanted a good uh, Windows 10 device. Sorry, Joe's kids are loud in the background. And Mom is uh, trying to reset order. And when I got it, it was working fine. And, of course, what's the first thing that Windows wants to do when you get a new device? Or a device that it thinks is new. It wants to run Windows Update. So I updated it because I knew that it had not really been used in a little while. And uh, I'm going to turn this back on. And, um, and basically what found happened with it is that, God, these kids. I don't have kids. And uh, this is uh, one of the reasons why. I love kids, just kids that aren't mine. And these kids aren't mine, but, you know, anyway. Um... So yeah, so basically the, the deal with this is that every night it was losing 10% when it was off. Uh, and initially, uh, I couldn't figure out, this was as soon as I had done all the updates. So I figured, okay, well, what I'll do is I will take these, the keyboard and I will, so I had initially figured out that when the keyboard was connected, it, it takes a small amount of load. So I was losing about 20% battery life every night. And I checked the battery and I checked that why does it keep asking to rotate the device? God almighty. Anyway, so I, you know what, I'm just going to ignore this. It keeps saying rotate device because it thinks I want to be in the other aspect ratio, which I don't. I want to be in this one because I don't want to be in portrait mode. So I thought, okay, well, what I'll do then is I will simply take the keyboard off seems to be a technical issue Sunday today for some reason my phone keeps disconnecting anyway uh, so I will try to not have shitty internet this is not my internet anyway so I found stuff on forums that basically this is a known problem. A lot of Surface Pro 4s have this issue. And I thought, okay, well, I finally found there's basically a CS uh, setting that you, 
that was working for people, and then they decided to remove it, Windows 10 uh, version 2004, which sucks. So I ended up finding some configuration, like basically in the registry, and now I'm basically losing 20% again. So I cannot figure out for the life of me. Uh, oh, and now it's losing 20% with these registry updates without the keyboard. So before I was losing 20% with the keyboard connected. Then I was losing 10% when I re realized that the keyboard turned off. Like if I disconnected the keyboard. And now I'm losing 20% when the keyboard is not connected at all. Although in all fairness, I've done so many things to try to tweak the battery settings that I've seen on this forum. It's entirely possible that I wasn't in balance mode and I... Uh, it started losing more when I was in balance mode rather than in uh, rather than in battery saver mode. So I have no freaking idea anymore. So I do like the device, and I'm comfortable with opening stuff. Like I'm comfortable with opening up cell phones and and basically doing surgery on them. So, but it's still a pain in the ass and I, you know, I have to use a heat pad and everything in order to open it up and be very, very careful to take the battery out. And it takes a couple of hours to, to reinstall the battery on these things. So if I don't have to open it up, I, I don't really want to open it up. And this is why I'm a big fan of Lewis Frostman. I'm a big believer that if you have a device, they should not make it impossible for you to open it up and deal with it. And frankly, given that it is in fact a you should be able to just take the battery out. You should not have to open the thing up and put it on a heat pad and, and, and basically take the entire thing apart and, you know, just to change a battery. It's stupid. Like, I know everybody wants money, but it's, it's incredibly wasteful to have a device like this, which is, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars new, depending on your configuration. I mean, I didn't buy it new. I got it from a guy on Kijiji for like 300 bucks. And by and large, I'm happy with it. But of course, my buddy has one that works perfectly fine out of the fucking, you know, box. He got his used too, and then I got mine used, and I'm losing like, you know, twenty percent. I guess we could file this under first world problems, but I don't know. Just kind of pisses me off this battery problem. And I apologize for those of you that decided to look at this video going, "Oh my God, there's a fix." Uh, there are there are things that seem to be working for some people and not others, but eh, what can you do? I'm going to see if I can figure out what is going on with this. I also don't want it to consume my day. I do have a little bit of an obsessive personality, and I tend to get OCD with these things. I don't like it when I can't fix something. Because I come from a family that likes to fix things, and it annoys me that I have a device that basically is not working as it should. In fairness, this device is probably a few years old. I think that the Surface 7 came out in... 2017 or something like that and we are in 2022 now so the device is like four or five years old at least so given that the battery is in is functioning the way it is i can't really complain and when i was looking in the battery cycles uh, or when i was basically looking at the battery health and i basically ran a uh, diagnostic on the battery it had uh, 38,000 something uh, like the basically it was 38,000 or whatever right out of the factory and it's still at 31 so given that it's five years old and it's only lost probably about 20 to 25 percent capacity of the battery it's not too bad uh, that's you know I mean realistically there's a lot of things that after five years the things should just be completely dead and this is not but it still annoys me and frankly the cat has a better way of dealing with this device than I do, which is just to not worry about it and just sleep. Um, but on the plus side, there are things about it that I do like. Uh, what Battery life is actually pretty good. I, I, I'm not one of these people where it needs to be on all the time, every day. I don't need to have it with me all the time. I generally will take it with me if I have a client meeting. I generally will take it with me. and I, it, I also have an iPad, but I typically will use the iPad just for the drone. And I haven't had these issues with the iPad, but I wanted a, a Windows, a full Windows machine where I would be able to, you know, use a full Windows uh, uh, 
my brain is not working. I'm not feeling all that well today. <laughs> uh, where I can basically have a fully Windows 10 machine. Ah, I have laptops and, and computers and things like that, but sometimes you really want to put it in a field. And of course, uh, the other thing I, I like is this crazy weird case that I got. It's kind of a weird, disgusting color, but you know what? For $17, I cannot complain. The other thing I like about it is uh, the joys of trying to function with one hand. Make a joke that way, as you would. Just trying to hold the phone with one hand and do it together. Anyway, I think I'm just ranting, so I will end this video now, and if I can get anywhere with it later, I'll figure it out. Just a